Ever since, Quaker has supplied the steel industry all over the world with custom-made rolling oils. This animation shows the important role of lubrication in the steel cold rolling process. In the cold rolling process, steel strip is passed through sets of work rolls at high speeds. Under the high loads, the strip thickness is progressively reduced either in several passes in a reversing mill or in several successive stands in a tandem mill. The strip temperature varies from room temperature to 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to achieve a good surface finish, this process needs to be well cooled and lubricated. This is accomplished by spraying an oil in water emulsion onto the rolls and strip surface. Between the two work rolls, the strip accelerates due to the thickness reduction. This creates significant sliding speeds in the contact. In combination with the high loads in the contact, this places very high demands on the lubricant. The application of emulsion leads to an oil film being formed on roll and strip. Let's have a closer look at what happens between the work roll and steel strip, the roll bite. Just before the roll bite, the speeds of work roll and steel strip ensure entrainment of a lubricant film into the roll bite. Film thickness increases as mill speed increases and is also determined by lubricant properties. At very high speeds, oil films may decrease again due to oil starvation but this depends strongly on the emulsion properties. Inside the roll bite, the roll and strip surfaces are in close sliding contact. This is where various lubricant properties need to be optimized in order to guarantee optimal lubrication. On the microscopic scale, the surfaces are rough and mixed lubrication conditions apply. Several lubrication regimes can be distinguished. In areas of intimate contact, friction modifiers adsorb on the surface and reduce friction. In areas where a thick lubricant film separates the surface, the lubricant flow properties under high pressure determine the friction. Under the influence of plastic deformation and sliding speed, film formation can occur inside the bite. In cold rolling, some wear is unavoidable. The iron fines generated on the strip affect surface cleanliness. Wear of the work roll reduces its useful lifetime. Wear can be controlled by the right choice of anti-wear and extreme pressure additives. The lubricant needs to be well designed for optimal performance in the cold rolling process. In order to fully assess the lubricant properties, friction testers are available in the laboratory. Friction testers or tribometers involve sliding contacts as well. And we can mimic important aspects of lubrication in the cold rolling mill. Several tests are available, each with their own purpose. R&D in lubricant design relies strongly upon such tribometers. Film formation of neat oils and emulsions can be studied. Quaker rolling oils are continuously optimized according to the latest developments in the laboratory testing. And research work is continuously carried out to further improve our understanding of cold rolling lubrication and the fast changing demands on lubrication at our customers, for instance, very hard steel types. We have now expanded our range of test equipment with our purpose built high speed pilot mill in China. The Quaker high speed rolling mill is designed for steel cold rolling trials up to speeds of 1200 meters per minute. The mill is equipped with recirculating emulsion system, a cleaning line and DA application system. Rolling performance can be investigated for different products, reduction schedules, application systems, work roll types and steel types. Strip temperature, cleanliness and surface quality can be closely monitored. A full set of mill parameters is available to allow calculation of coefficient of friction. We believe it helps us at Quaker to continuously optimize our products to meet increasingly severe demands from steel manufacturers. Quaker. It's what's inside that counts.